is Hirokai, another revolution for your melee teams. The new Korean unit Hirokai is coming next week to Global and Guardian Tales and is already rocking top PvP Korean leaderboards this week. So should you save some gems and summon controllers for this upcoming banner? Before we get started, here we go. Those are two coupon codes. 10 summon controllers each, only for Asia server, courtesy of Kakao Games, who upgraded me in their official partner program. So thanks to all of you for the support on the channel. First come, first served. So don't forget to let us know in the comment below once you redeem the code. And if you are subscribed to the channel, remember to check our community post section where I will keep randomly give away some more on top of the videos. And if I made any mistakes or if you have a different experience or opinion about the new hero review today, please share it with us in the comment section below. Here is the crazy heroes list of the upcoming banner. Another broken <laughs> banner in my opinion. Another art pick in between those 9 heroes. So you will find Hero Sky, First Cops, Captain Valencia, Lapis and or two exclusive weapons, Christmas Carol, Miss Chrome, Idol Captain Eva, Santa Ru and her two weapons, and finally, Mad Panda Trio. A quick note for all the costumes lover in Guardian Tales, yes, you watching the video and enjoying just dressing up. So here will be also two new costumes and those will be the first for the first Cops Commander and also for the Hero Sky, so don't forget to save some gems if you are enjoying those. And now let's review Hero Sky's stats, skill set, animation, and I will give you my first impressions at the end of the video. So Hero Sky is a robot, the element is light, and the type is a warrior. This is a MIDI unit. Here for the stats, the attack 1462, pretty good. The HP, nearly 59,000 of HP. <laughs> this is pretty thick, and this is what you need for a MIDI attacker. Pretty strong defense too, with 338. And the first cherry on the cake here, it's about the party buff. This is brand new, normal attack damage party buff plus 70% that the developers brought few weeks ago on the new ranged unit, Rosetta, and actually it changed a lot in terms of team composition for the ranged unit. It kind of revived some forgotten, I would say, ranged heroes and team building, simply because you can now build teams around the normal attack skills and damage. And this is so great to see it coming to the MIDI heroes here with Hero Skies, party buff, normal attack damage plus 70%. And you are going to see that immediately it had some impact, of course, on team building and meta and top leaderboard. Anyway, let's keep going on. Weapon skill regen speed plus 2%, plus 5% shield increase on battle start, which is pretty good because the robot has a strong HP and defense, and skill damage plus 6%. And again, I'm still confused. Is it a girl or a boy? Should I say he or she? Please let me know in the comment section below. Now for the skill set. This is first the normal attack Justice Age. Here on the screen you can see uses phantom-like sword techniques to inflict melee damage to enemies. So this is an AoE type of attack and you love to see it because in PvE, especially when you have a lot of mobs around you, this is so useful. Now I just would like to highlight two points about the normal attack here. Number one, you can see the first hit, it's pretty good for midi heroes because he kind of launch forward three squares or so. And this is very nice to cut the distance, especially in arena. And the second strong highlight here about this normal attack is actually you can cancel on any hit. So this is pretty good in terms of technicality if you are a skillful player in arena. And overall, pretty fast animation and you are going to see this is going to be boosted by the exclusive weapon skill. But let's keep going on with the Shen skill here first. The Justice Judgment. So this is a downed to injured state. It creates a hologram field in a nearby area to inflict 380% of DPS damage, which is pretty good, as melee damage. And for the special ability, the dual matrix. On it, you increase your defense by 30% for 4 seconds. And on the normal attack hit, you increase your attack by 30% for 4 seconds also as well. So here, pretty strong buff as a special ability on it that pushes you, of course, as a melee damage dealer to go forward and try just to attack your enemy to get 
your buff going. Now let's speak about the weapon and this is going to be very strong, the Duran doll here, this is an epic 100 third with 4289 of GPS which is a pretty high scale, the light attack is 1276, the critical hit chance 12%, this is very good and the HP it's plus 12%, defense plus 12%, this is really mid kind of but because the hero skies has already some strong stat it's quite fine and the skill damage plus 8%. And for the weapon skill here, you can see on it, you increase the movement speed by 20% for 3 seconds. So that's why we are seeing here in Arena on some special map, I would say, some map that allows for melee damage dealer to cut the distance quite quickly. It's pretty, pretty strong. And also on Justice Age hit with 50% chance, and I don't like too much the 50% chance, but it's still a good ratio. It can increase attack by 5% and increase critical hit multiplier by 10% for 6 seconds. And this effect can overlap up to 3 times. So you can get 15% of attack and the critical hit multiplier can go up to 30%. Now, as you know, if you follow the channel, I'm not a fan of the random chance 50%, but it's still better than 30% or sometimes we see 20% chance of because this is not consistent. But here, what you can anticipate is of course to try to build up that critical hit chance because this critical hit multiplier going up to 30%, it's quite juicy when you land a critical hit chance. So either you have a critical hit chance party buffer or you are going to see because it has a lot of critical hit chance in the kit you can also boost the robot with you know whatever the best critical hit chance stat equipment you can find and here just to highlight very quickly as you can see once it's very costly but once you limit break that weapon to its full potential limit break five times you can get an additional critical chance plus 10%. So just the weapon just brought 22% total just in wearing the weapon, which is to me pretty nice, pretty broken, but also costly for beginners because you need to limit break that weapon five times or to unlock your training room ASAP for the weapon. After for the sub option here, we can see weapon skill regen speed plus 12%, and which is good because when we look at the skill information, uh, for the weapon here, you can see, so they attack 270 DPS, it has a regen time of 8.8 .8 seconds, which is not the longest, but not the shortest also as well, but it will help you to rotate the skills and activate those buffs more often. So, so far, as I mentioned earlier in the video, when I looked at the top Korean here on the PvP, the leaderboards, you can see Yes, she is in it, of course, and interesting, but she is not only in PvP Arena, but also in the Colosseum. Few, as you can see here, few team building in the Colosseum. But just to make a quick mention about Arena, she is, of course, straight into top teams, but for one reason also, it's because of the map. The map is very nice and suitable. This is a short map, so it's very nice for MIDI because it's not a large map and they can cut the distance and deal damage. Of course, you can see here, Zoe as a choice uh, for arena team for more aggressive melee damage party buffer for the simple reason is also the counter right now we have hero sky is a light hero very strong so on the other side we have also Zoe that can counter the robot so it's a pretty strong I will say mix up of heroes but there are plenty of different type of team you can build for the Colosseum, also for the Reds, it brought back some very strong MIDI Reds team, but I will keep this for the next video. And feel free to let us know in the comment section below, are you saving your gems? Are you interested about the Hero Kai? What do you think about this new Hero or any other Hero on this banner you are looking for? And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to destroy that like button and hit that bell to support the channel and let's keep growing together. Thank you so much. Love you all for the support lately. The channel has been growing tremendously. As usual, I wish you all to be safe, to be well, and until the next, stay tuned, Guardians.